Hey everyone, I'm Terry G. Thanks a lot for stopping by and watching my video. If you can take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? I really appreciate it. Again, thanks a lot for stopping by. What this video is about, does alcohol improve your sex life? And the answer is maybe sort of not. And let me explain. For some of you, if you can drink just a little bit of booze, maybe two glasses of wine throughout the night, a beer or one shot, it more than likely may improve your sex life in this way. It'll give you more courage to say things to your partner or say things to a stranger in a bar. It'll give you more courage to try new things sexually. It'll also calm you down because alcohol is a depressant. So it'll make you feel calm. Alcohol also gives you a nice warm feeling. So it'll make you feel secure. So in that way, it does kind of help you with your sex life. But if you're like me, who drank a lot of booze, large amounts of booze, and had sex, it didn't really help too much. The first thing you may experience if you drink, say, six to 10 beers in the night is something like this, guys. You know what that is, right? That's limp penis or limp dick. Yeah, you may get like that. You may feel horny. You may think you're horny. You may really want her. And same for the women, you may really want him, but physically it just, it just doesn't work. You got the limp dick. Another thing that guys get is soft penis. This is the vagina. You kind of come in and you kind of go like this. You kind of get all kind of spongy. You're erected, but you're not super hard. And the reason for that is because when you drink alcohol, your body has to work really hard to, to break that down. So it draws blood out from certain areas of your body. And one of those areas is the penis. And to make a really hard penis, you need lots of blood. So what happens, the body takes the blood out. You may feel erected, but you're kind of soft. And you women also, you're not out of the woods because alcohol in large amounts makes people feel, makes people dehydrated. So your vagina may feel like it's a desert like there's no lubricant down there, it's dried up. So you can get problems too. People, men can enter you, and you may get tears, it may feel painful to you, okay? It may feel painful. Another thing for both men and women, because of high alcohol use, you're probably gonna have one hell of a time reaching orgasm. Because alcohol, like I said earlier, is a depressant and it shuts down that part of us. If you ever taken an antidepressant, I have, it really screws up your sex life. Alcohol behaves in the same way when it comes to your orgasm, okay? Another thing I wanna point out is that making choices when you're drunk. You know, you're going into the bar, you're picking up some guy or some woman, you don't even know. Have you ever went home and slept with somebody and you wake up in the morning, you're like, what the hell is her name? What is her name? What is his name? I don't even know. You go around the apartment trying to look for mail, trying to find out. You ever done that? Well, I'm an alcoholic. I've done that several times. And another thing people do when they're on, when they're when they're drunk, is they don't use protection. You know, you may get that phone call, guys, six months down the road or or 30 days down the road, saying, "Hey, uh, Terry G, I'm pregnant with your child." Nevertheless, you also may pick up a disease, herpes, or God forbid, HIV. So, be careful when you're drinking. Be very, very careful, okay? The only real way to have a great sex life is to stimulate the biggest sexual organ in our body, and that is our brain. That is our brain. And when you're in a relation with a partner, the best way to do that is have intimacy. Love, open-mindedness, and intimacy with that partner. So you can express freely what you like sexually. Maybe you want to try new positions. Maybe you want to be touched in a certain way. Maybe you want to be talked to in a special way when it comes to your sex life. That is the greatest way to have the greatest orgasm and have the greatest sex life is to build intimacy. Booze works kind of, sort of, but if you're an alcoholic, like I was, an active alcoholic, booze destroyed my sex life destroyed it it really did i want to thank you very much for stopping by and watching my video i do appreciate it if you have any comments 
please leave them in the comments below. But can you all do me a favor? Can you subscribe to my channel? I really appreciate it. My name's Terry G. This is the Alcohol Free Life channel. And as usual, look after yourself because it shows. I'll see you next time and I don't know. Have a good day. See you. Bye-bye.